Hi everyone, I hope you are all okay today. It is currently Monday night and um, I thought we would start a page in this book by Rowan. And um, I'm going to show you how I use my albedures. So this is kind of a request video. Um, happy catastrophe, the absolutely wonderful Candice uh, has had some struggles using her albedures and she's not overly getting along with them. Um, so I said that I would see if I can help her out. Um, she, you know, said that she'd like to know how I get really bright, bold colours with them. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I have made a start, only a tiny, tiny start. Because I didn't know how the paper, sorry about that, how the paper was going to react in it. Um, sorry, <laughs> completely distracted. Um, yeah, so I didn't, didn't know how the paper was going to react in here. So I've done a tiny little sample just to see how it goes. So I was going to do this in Alien Worlds. Um, but the next page I'm doing is the Apex Predator. I think I've got a particular colour palette in mind that I would like to do it with. And that's not really going to be, you know, kind of bright colours, I don't think. However, this book, as you can probably see from the cover, is bright. So, this is the page. Right we are going to be working on and it fits for space timber which i didn't realize when i was flipping through i don't know how i missed all of these spaceships alien ships mm, everything i don't know how i missed that but i did <laughs> um so yeah i've done a little bit of pipe here just to see how this copes with water and it's it's okay it, it seems to be doing okay so yeah i don't know if this is going to be any use for you candace um i'm not very good at explaining myself and explaining what i'm doing um and i'm quite scatterbrained at the moment <laughs> So I am likely to go off on tangents. Uh, so yeah. So, like I said, I'm currently just going to kind of be working on these pipes. And I know you don't have this book. And that's absolutely fine. But, you know, just pretend they're leaves or something. And these are the colours I am using. Ooh, don't know if you can see anything. Let's just read them out. I've got light green, cadmium, yellow, cadmium, yellow, lemon, blah, 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 blah. grass green, and deep cobalt green. And. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am. I'm. I'm also. I'm not finished with these. But what I'm gonna do is just go down and put a bit more of the light green down on here. Actually, should we just start a new pipe so you can just see it from start? And I'm gonna give that a little sharpen because it's it's not. That blunt tip is not making me happy. Okay, there we go. So, just checking. 
So I zoom in. And I'm going to have to move Jesus. So Okay. Hopefully you can see now. So, um, yeah, I'm not, you know, careful when I use these. Not in the slightest. That's one of the reasons I like to use them so much is because you don't need to be, you know, careful with them. They kind of dissolve out no matter how how bad you scribble down. So that's light green. And I'm gonna go grass green. So I'm not copying her image completely. But I'm using the same kind of colours, you know. Um, but just doing a bit of my own thing with it. And I'm going to go into cadmium yellow. And add that where I want it to kind of be brightest. So, and then I'm gonna go with no, what's my color? Uh, the deep cobalt. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. Maybe one, two. Sorry about that. Let me just turn my phone down. That is our Alien Worlds group getting busy for the night. I'm just going to pop that in and run it. So, the great thing about the Albertus, I find is that you can kind of rework it as much as you want um, yeah and you can do layer upon layer upon layer with them So, uh, I've got my waterproof, and yes, it is a teeny tiny short one. And you don't want it very wet at all. You just want it kind of slightly damp. And all I do is go in. And activate the circles. Now, yes, the pigment will move. Um, it, it, it acts like watercolour, because it is watercolour, basically. Um, but don't fight against it. You need to keep wiping, wiping your brush off. If it starts to get a little too wet, if you can kind of see the water, um, I mean, it's probably a bit too wet.
Mm. So yeah. I know you said that it kind of just feels like you're pushing pigment around the page. Um, I don't know if that means, you know, that it's just because the pigment is moving. if it kind of just feels like it's sitting on top of the page and not soaking into it which is kind of what you want to be honest with watercolor um but i know it can be kind of weird um okay as you can see, this is a lot brighter than um, what she's done on hers. That's kind of how I want it. Now, I'll work on this a bit more because I'm not too happy with it. So I'm just going to go plonk down some of this darker colour again. And go back over because I want this to be brighter or not brighter but more vivid I guess I don't know I don't know what I'm saying I'm just going to do the exact same thing here that we did with the other one. I kind of want down here to be, so it looks like it should be a little shaded. I think. Um, the best thing I can say is to keep practicing with them and I know you have been um but I am positive that you and the albedores can become best friends okay so now I'm just going to dry my brush off a little bit more and we're just going to go in and just activate this. So I find using circles can be helpful. So we're not going to get much of this done today, but if anyone is, you know, interested in me doing this page, then just let me know in the comments and, yeah, I'm happy to do it. find your dark is going to light a little bit too much let's go wipe off your brush and then just kind of go in the opposite direction
So, let me just keep checking the original. Sorry about that, I went very quiet. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we use a watercolour pencils. Um, why are you still making noise? I turned the sound off. Sorry. <laughs> Just arguing the phone. You know, thank you, doing? Let's do a little bit of that in here. And I think I do those like very kind of raised. So my hair, my hair keeps touching my iPad. And I'm like, whoa, what's on my head? And it's like, oh, it's my iPad. And yeah, that's, that's kind of where I am today. Just in case you're wondering. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, so obviously these are watercolour pencils. Um, and you do tend to need more than one layer. If you want them nice and bright and vibrant. Which I know uh, Candice is... Is your thing, you do brilliant, happy, bright pages. But yeah, um, I don't want this video to be too long because currently it's taken me over two hours to upload like a half an hour video, which is just ridiculous. Like I said, I'm, I'm always happy to help you, um, happy to help anyone, but yeah, I don't know, I can, I, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like it's my mission um, to get you happy with your Albert Dears. Because I can guarantee you, you will love them. You do need to accept their quirks. They, they can be a little quirky. Um, but I think that's mostly because of how good they are at dissolving and moving around. Um, but if you kind of work at it a bit too much, then you will probably, you know, kind of get patches where you'll find that your colour kind of just goes, you know, and you will be left with like a white patch. I'm guessing that's kind of what you mean when you say it just seems like the pigment just move, you're just spreading pigment around instead of kind of painting with it yeah it, it is watercolor it is going to move i know i keep saying that but you know different different things will act differently i think i might be a little bit bright uh what are you cadmium yellow to kind of start going into this orange what she's done. Um, 
potentially a good thing to try if you don't mind um it's play around with them on amazon paper now it's just cutting orange i am liking my cat memes today apparently um yeah just have a play around with them on amazon paper yes it will wrinkle but um, it may help you kind of get the hang of them just a little bit more. So this is probably already been like, what, half hour, 40 minutes, and... I've done like one pipe, and that's it. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. Where do I want to start? Start with the yellow. Um, another thing a possibility is that you have started out putting too much pigment down and that's why you're kind of struggling with them a little bit because you're just not used to you know how they work um. So you can try just putting very, very light layers down and activating them. And yes, I am literally just wiping off the paint, my, my pen onto my hand. And I have got a towel by me somewhere. Yeah, it's like right next to me, but no, I'm just going straight onto my hand. Um, I don't know why. Well, I think it's because then I can kind of feel how wet my brush is and adjust according to that. Well, use a towel, guys. Mm, yeah, especially with these like cadmium hues. I don't know if they actually contain cadmium. Um, but you don't really, oh, that's way too much water. You don't really want to be getting that on you, to be honest. Oh, why are we going everywhere? So I got this bit off a ladder. 
I had no idea of what it was. Um, all I saw was basically like the front cover. And I was intrigued. Okay, so. Um, so, jumping all over the place here. If you do really light layer. Orange on its door, and then activate it. You will get almost better coverage um, because you've got just enough pigment to cover what you're doing, and then you know you can wait for it to dry, and then go over with another layer. Kind of thing. And then activate that one. And you can build a colour up like that. Um, which might be a good way to start. But you can just go. Sorry, just checking how dry that is. Go straight in. Quite heavy layer. And then activate it like that. But you will see the pigment move around more. Because there is a lot more pigment on there. But as these will reactivate. You, you don't have to just keep working it. Um, you know, every time you go over it, that pigment is going to move. That's the point of the pencils. Um... And I do it sometimes, I'm like, oh, well, it's still moving, it's still moving, I need to keep working it, I need to keep working it. But you can just stop. And you can work wet, wet on, wet on dry, dry and wet, dry and wet, and all sorts of ways. Um, as you can see, I've just put more pigment down. And if I wanted to, I could spread this pigment probably all the way over there. But you can just get it to where you want to and just leave it. And it's done. So. Du -du -du. I really hope I've been on camera. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how useful this will be for you or for anyone. But hopefully it might help a little bit, you know. No, it's like, I, guess I, I, I can't say how much I love these pencils enough. I really, really can't. Um... Because as you can see, using just that same colour, I've got this really, really pale colour, and then this like really bright in your face colour. And I think I just said colour far too many times in a row. Yep. Oh, not that one. Jesus. Um. They are so versatile. They really are. And then we want, let's do just a bit there. Let's make sure we got all that green off. Yes, I am still just using my hand to take scribble colour off. Don't come for me. 
<laughs> I know, I know I shouldn't, I know it's bad. Um, so we just finish this little, 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 little tiny piece down here. And then we can call it. And I can wait 10 years for it to upload because my internet is absolutely atrocious. I can tell you that now. No, no green. Bit more green. So as you can see, I don't always wait for an area to dry before I go on it. Um, I wouldn't do that on, you know, like Amazon paper, I don't think. You would probably put a hole in it. But if you're really gentle, it works. It works quite well. So, yeah. Um, and let's bring this up a bit. So, yeah, that's what I have done so far. Let's zoom out. Camera wobbling. So you can see a bit more of the image. So yeah, that is, you know, how I kind of use my albedores to get, you know, some nice, bright, vivid colours. Um, if anyone would like English brain gone, sorry. Oh my days, words. If anyone would like to see me continue this page on video, there we go, then please drop a comment down below and I can certainly do that. I've got no idea how I'm going to do this background because, can you see, yeah, you've got all of these kind of like pink screens and yellows, all the, it's like almost like buildings in the background and I don't think I can do that, but yeah, so that's what I've done so far, I'm quite liking how it looks, so until next time. Have a good day, rest of your week, whatever. Um, if you could like, comment and subscribe, it would be hugely appreciated. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And um, again, I apologise so much for the waffling. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what comes out of my mouth most of the time. So, I do apologise for that. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.